Meantime, a highly anticipated report from the DOJ is expected to shed light on the alleged secret surveillance conducted on then-candidate Trump and his team, which was reportedly put in motion by Obama's FBI. One America's Chanel Rion is at the White House with more on what to expect from that report. A rocky week for Democrats and for certain members of the intelligence community. The DOJ's Inspector General, Michael Horowitz, announced that he was almost ready to release his IG report to the House and Senate on whether Obama's intelligence officials spied on candidate Trump in pursuit of chasing down discredited Russia ties. The IG report looks into whether top officials in the FBI illegally obtained surveillance warrants on Trump. What Republicans are most looking forward to in this report is a detailing of how Obama's FBI acted on these warrants on the basis of fraudulent partisan information, namely the now infamous and fake Steele dossier funded, pushed and manufactured by the Democrat National Committee and Hillary Clinton's campaign a shockingly biased piece of information that the FBI seems to have obscured on purpose. The report currently in the hands of Attorney General William Barr is undergoing a standard review to redact sensitive information. President Trump predicts the report, once released, is bound to send top-level officials scrambling. I leave it all up to the Attorney General, and I leave it all up to the people that are working with the Attorney General, who I don't know. But I will say this, I think you'll see things that nobody would have believed. A.G. Barr has said as far back as April, he believes the FBI was spying on Trump illegally. This report should be able to say one way or another and is expected to name names throughout the FBI, possibly even to Obama's director of national intelligence, James Clapper, and even disgraced FBI director, James Comey. This comes amid parallel criminal investigations launched against the Russia investigation in which the DOJ now has the power to subpoena documents, witnesses, call a grand jury and press criminal charges with regards to any details surrounding why the Russia investigation was launched against President Trump. Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn on the House Judiciary Committee says once the IG report is released, Congress will call in Attorney Durham, who is leading the criminal investigation into the Russia probe, and call in also Inspector General Horowitz to ask questions and expand on his report. The question at the forefront of everyone's minds in anticipation of this report is whether or not members of Obama's administration committed treason by abusing power to interfere in an election. If a corrupt FBI can obtain illegal surveillance warrants against a U.S. presidential candidate, they can do that to anyone. This is the argument Republicans have held for months. Inspector General Horowitz says he will make the report as transparent to the public as possible, unlike the optics laid out by House Democrats who are currently holding closed-door secret hearings in their now disintegrating Ukrainian probe. Chanel Rion, One American News, The White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.